Office of Inclusion and Multicultural Engagement hosted the Culture and Diversity Fair and Fashion Show. We have extensive coverage at the top of the show. USM football defied many expectations but lost 23-26 to the Chanteliers of Coastal Carolina. And with the 3-0 start, the men's basketball has appeared to turn things around compared to last season. I don't know about that, but at least they're getting some ne needed wins. News, weather, sports, and more begins right now on SMTV. From the Chuck Scarborough Television Studio on the campus of the University of Southern Mississippi, this is SMTV News, news you can use. Good evening, USM. I'm Abigail Troth. Thank you for tuning in to SMTV. It's International Education Week at Southern Miss. The Office of Inclusion and Multicultural Cultural Engagement hosted the Culture and Diversity Fair and Fashion Show. SM2 reporter Maya Evans has more on the event. We are at the Culture and Diversity Fair, where all the different countries are expressing their culture to the people. Many people come out to the event to get a feel of the different cultures that are present in the USM community. There were 15 countries displayed to showcase each culture. The students were able to travel around the world and experience new cultures right here at U.S. And so basically today we are showcasing our different international as well as um, Native American groups for International Education Week and Native American Heritage Month, which is November. And so there were students from the IME at the tables informing details about the country that they were representing, which involves food, jewelry, and fashion. And so today is just all about celebrating individual cultures together and making sure that uh, people, especially students, know that there is a space for international students on campus. Um, today is also International Day of dress so we also have our fashion show there were students stating the facts about the country that they were representing from the food to the fashion and to display what they were showing there will be more events throughout the week make sure you come out to them i'm maya evans sm2 back to you the month of November is dedicated to promoting national diabetes awareness. More than 37 million U.S. adults have diabetes. It is the seventh leading cause of death in the U.S. Diabetes is the result of the pancreas either making no insulin at all or not using the insulin it is making properly. It can cause numerous health problems such as heart disease, vision loss, or kidney disease. It's really just put a, a damper on my life. Um, I've lost two family members from diabetes. My great-grandmother ended up getting gangrene from diabetes and they couldn't amputate her leg. She just ended up dying and then my uncle lost his eye. You can always talk to your local health care professional about screening or treatment options that are right for you. USM Center for Behavioral Health is hosting a fundraiser throughout the month of November in an effort to increase access to autism services. Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder that is presented in early childhood. Patients with autism experience challenges with social skills, verbal and nonverbal communication, and repetitive behavior. The fundraiser's goal is to fill in the gap in funding needed to bring specialized training to the CBH's clinicians. Statistics show one in 44 children in the U.S., um, which is increasing, the, the rates are increasing that we're seeing. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean autism is more common. I think um, we're doing a lot more awareness around autism and we're getting better at detecting it earlier and earlier. And if you are interested in donating, visit CBH's social media pages on Facebook at USMCBH or Instagram at USM underscore CBH. Coming up next, we'll take a look at what we have in our Flash News Briefing and Sports Recap. But before then, let's hand it over to Brooke Parker for the weather.
seven day forecast. So as we head into this week, it's gonna be pretty consistent almost all around the mid 50s. And our lows are gonna be around the 30s, high and low. Um, except for on Thursday, it's gonna be a little more chilly. We're gonna be at about 27. Low percentage of rain this week, except on Saturday and Tuesday, there's about a 15% chance of rain. So you might need your rain jacket or you might not. Um, as we head into the beginning of next week, more of the same, Tuesday is gonna be a little bit warmer. Um, if we have a look at our almanac, we can actually see that we're experiencing a much colder um, week than we have in the previous years. So um, right now we have about a 53 for our high and a low for our 36. But last year we were experiencing a much hotter November. So we had a high of 76 and a low of 47, but our average is at 69 and 44. So yes, it's a little cold right now, and that's probably why for game day, you should probably get out those really warm jackets. So as we come into our last home game this Saturday, it's gonna be a little chilly. We're gonna start at about 54 around two. Um, so you'll probably need that light jacket, but as the game progresses, it's gonna get even colder. So we're gonna have about a low of a 37, but if you wanna come out to the rock and see um, the Eagles take on the Jaguars, be sure to do that. All right, we'll be right back with you after this short break. For news, weather, sports, and more, follow Southern Miss Student Media on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Not again. Great, I'm gonna be late. Call Lockout Locksmith. When every second counts, we are on the scene. You can count on us, your friendly neighborhood locksmith. We are available Monday through Saturday from 7 to 7. Call now, 601-854-6521. Or visit us at lockoutlocksmith.service. I just feel so good. outside of Hattiesburg that you need to know about. Here's your SMTV Flash News Briefing. The Mississippi civil case relating to the welfare fund scandal continues. Former Governor Phil Bryant has asked again a judge to throw out a subpoena against him. The subpoena was filed in early October for a large collection of records from Bryant, including his text messages with former NFL quarterback Brett Favre. It relates to a concussion drug company receiving $2 million of stolen state welfare money. Bryant argued that his personal text messages were protected under executive privilege. He says the subpoena should either be thrown out or be placed under a protective order. This is an almost identical response to a similar order issued in September regarding the $5 million used for the University of Southern Mississippi Volleyball Stadium. Our first story regarding national news surrounds the recent announcement made by former President Donald Trump. On Tuesday, he declared his presidential bid for the 2024 election. If Trump won, it would make him the first second ever president to serve two non-consecutive terms. The announcement was made at his waterside estate at Mar-a-Lago. During his announcement speech, he said his campaign would bring people together. He also said the Republican Party couldn't afford to nominate a politician or conventional candidate. These words came shortly after he failed to comply with the January 6th committee subpoena for documents and testimony, testimony regarding the 2021 insurrection. 
On Sunday night, three members of the University of Virginia volleyball football team were shot and killed on a charter bus that had just arrived back on campus. Two others were wounded and are currently hospitalized. On Monday, Christopher Darnell Jones Jr., a current student and past member of the university football team, was arrested. As of now, Jones faces three counts of second-degree murder, but officials claim these charges could be upgraded if certain facts and circumstances arise. The three victims, Deshaun Perry, Lavelle Davis Jr., and Devin Chandler, were well-loved across campus, and several memorials have been put together for the lost students. On Tuesday, two people in Poland were killed in an explosion from war missiles. The two deaths occurred at a farm at a Polish village about four miles from the border of Ukraine. Polish officials said, and NATO allies recently announced that the missiles appeared to come from a Ukrainian air defense system fired against a Russian attack. This false alarm, this false alarm is Poland and NATO allies uneasy. The incident triggered warnings of escalation from NATO allies since under NATO's Article 5, an attack on one member is an attack on all. This week we have the men's basketball team on a 3-0 win streak, the football team and the heartbreaking loss on Saturday, and the volleyball team starts their conference tournament this week. I'm Amari Anderson and welcome to the SMTV Sports Recap. The Eagles are on a 3-0 run, run and don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. After the victory in Music City, the guys hosted Loyola New Orleans on Monday. On Friday, the Eagles defeated the Commodores 60-48, shooting 35% from the field. Felipe Hase led the team with 14 points, and DeAndre Pickney followed with a double-double. The Eagles forced the Commodores to 15 turnovers to complement the Eagle victory. On Monday night, the men's team hosted Loyola and ended with the victory. The men's team forced 17 turnovers to complement the 86-62 win over Loyola. Hase led the team with 17 points, 3 assists, and 8 rebounds. Southern Miss Volleyball is about to start off the conference tournament in Foley, Alabama. They are coming off a 1-1 one one split against Old Dominion. On Thursday, the Lady Eagles won the first match 3-2, and on Friday, the second match, they lost in a nail-biter against Old Dominion 1-3. Mia Wesley ended the series with 28 kills and 21 digs. The Lady Eagles ended the regular season 18-10 over an overall positive season. Coming up Thursday, they will be playing against the Georgia Southern Eagles. Mia Wesley was also selected first team in the All Sun Belt Conference, and Kara Atkinson was selected second team in the All, Belt, All Sun Belt Conference. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, Player of the Week. Your fourth street player of the week is Trey Lowe the third. He threw for 295 yards against the Coastal Carolina Chanteliers. The Eagles suffered a heartbreaker from Coastal Carolina on Saturday with a 23-26 loss against the Coastal Carolina Chanteliers. Lowe completed 19 of 35 passing attempts for 295 yards. Brownlee was a recipient of six of those passes for 123 yards. The Eagles are now 5-5 five five for the season as they host South Alabama on Saturday at 2.30 p.m. Play of the week goes to the men's basketball team. They move the ball like it's a hot potato. Coach Lass said that they were talking about being a pass first team this year, and they did just that Monday. With swift passes, the Eagles were able to find high safe for the lay. But that does it for the SMTV Sports Recap. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Amari. Coming up, Asia Wade gives us the what's what on campus with the community calendar. We'll be back soon, so don't go anywhere. For news, weather, sports, and more, follow Southern Miss Student Media on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Oh, man.
world is changing, and we are changing with it as our students create, inspire, and inform. Beginning this fall, the School of Media and Communication will take its public relations master's degree fully online. That means students anywhere in Mississippi or around the world can get their advanced PR degree from the University of Southern Mississippi. Check us out as our students find new ways to create, inspire, and inform. I'm Asia Wei and welcome to Community Calendar. USM offers a leadership and student involvement and invites Southern Miss students to the Thad Cochran Center on November 17th for an opportunity to meet prominent leaders from the USM and Hattiesburg community. The event will be held from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. in room 218A. The annual Golden Idea Pitch Competition is making its grand return to provide Southern Miss students with support, mentorship, and funding to launch their ideas. The event will start Saturday, Thursday, November 17th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Trent Lawson National Center. You can register for this event at everbite.com. USM's Reper Repertory Dance Co Company presents their Fall Repertory, Repertory Dance Concert. The event will start November 17th at 7 p.m. at the Theater and Dance Building Studio 115. To purchase a ticket, visit SouthernMissTickets.com or you can buy them at the door with prices starting at $6. The Pride of Mississippi Marching Band will showcase their seniors and alum at their band day. This event will take place at The Rock on Saturday, November 19th during the weekend's home game against South Alabama at 2.30 p.m. USM School of Music presents the Chamber Music from Wins concert. The program will feature chamber music written from woodwind and bass instruments performed by graduate and undergraduate students. The event will take place at Marsh Auditorium on Sunday, November 20th at 7.30 p.m. This event is free to attend. That's the community calendar for the week, and I'm Major Wade. Back to you guys at the studio. Come on, man. So, Thanksgiving is on its way. What yeah. do you guys have planned? Sleep. Sleep. Sleep, eat, repeat. Heard. Same. And what's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Like, what you like to eat? It's a toss up between mac and cheese and dressing for me. Okay, I respect it. Sweet potato pie. Can't go classic. Can't go wrong with the classic. Yeah, what for me, you? we got to do the classical grilled cheese and gumbo. <laughs> See, now, I've never heard of that at Thanksgiving. That must be New Orleans thing. Yeah, you got to come to New Orleans and check it out. It sounds so good. Well, thank you so much for watching the show. Be sure to subscribe to Southern Miss Student Media on YouTube and follow us on all social media platforms. You'll be sure to find a new episode of the show every Wednesday evening. Well, except for next week. SMTV and Southern Miss Student Media are taking a break for Thanksgiving. Our final episode of the semester will be on Wednesday, November 30th. Don't worry, it will be here before you know it. Until then, this has been Abigail Troth, Asia Wade, and Amari Anderson. As always, Southern Miss to, to the, the top! top. the latest SMTV news episode? Find us and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Southern Miss Student Media. If you would like to advertise with Southern Miss Student Media, give us a call today at 601-266-4258 or reach out to Justin Martin at wilbur.martin at usm.edu.
Listen to Southern Miss today, Monday through Thursday on WUSM. Get all of your local, regional, and national news, weather, sports, and more on Southern Miss today. News you can use.